Hello, I'm Zach Wolfitt. I'm a lecturer at in Holland in the Netherlands, and I'm interested in the uh, overlap between technology and society. Uh, I'm going to review a book today which is called Digital Minimalism. It's about on living better with less technology. Um, the book is uh, very interesting. It's well written. Uh, it's a, uh, by a guy called Cal Newport. And Cal Newport uh, has a, is a tenured professor at Georgetown University. And he's written five books. The most recent book he wrote uh, before this one was called Deep Work, about how to focus uh, really hard when you are working. The book has uh, seven chapters. And the first chapter is about a digital arms race. He calls it an uneven arms race. And you can see yourself there in the middle, surrounded by all these companies who are spending billions and billions of dollars to attract your attention as part of the attention economy. It's an uneven arms race and it's very difficult to resist. It's very difficult to find a good balance. Uh, Newport suggests a philosophy which is called digital minimalism. In a digital minimalism, you reduce any unnecessary uh, aspects of the uh, technology and you go back to your true personal values and you become aware of that in more detail. Um, through his website, uh, Newport got 1,600 volunteers in January of 2017 to um, write uh, about how they experienced a digital uh, minimalism. And what that is, is 30 days. So there's three things you do. First, you decide which technology is not absolutely essential. Secondly, you go for 30 days um, without it. And after that, you put the uh, apps and the uh, technology back on based on what your needs are. In the second half of the book, um, Newport talks about the different approaches. The first thing he says that's really important is that you spend time alone. That doesn't need to equate with loneliness. This is to do with solitude. As humans, we need to have solitude. We need to have silence when we're not interrupted by other people's thoughts, just our own mind. Take long walks in the countryside plan this time or walk through a places or find solitude in a crowded space. And it's very important to process and take in all the different information that we're getting every day. Uh, the next chapter is about uh, don't click like. And by don't click like, um, Newport gives a couple of reasons for this. He explains that human interaction is incredibly complicated. We have uh, over millions of years developed the ability to read facial expressions, tone of voice, body language, and by clicking on a like, you just reduce all of that human complexity and communication down to a very simple binary format. Secondly, uh, of course, when you click like, you're feeding the algorithm, you're providing information on yourself, that means the large companies can market to you uh, even more efficiently and even more better, so you're sharing that information. So he says, don't click like, and just tell your friends you're not using social media very much. Uh, another idea is about reclaiming leisure, and this chapter talks about really developing and practicing your hobbies, learning uh, new skills, uh, making something. Here you can see a guy who is making something out of metal. Use your hands physically to create things in the physical world. Play an instrument, but don't just say you're going to practice a bit more. Give yourself a goal to play a certain number of songs in a certain time frame, and then give a concert for your friends. Finally, the final chapter is about the attention resistance. And Newport talks about a number of people who uh, are starting to talk about this issue, a loosely formed group of people. And what they're doing is they are um, finding ways to regain their attention and have uh, autonomy over that. That could be by reading uh, hard copy newspapers or dedicating certain time to do certain things with, with groups of people. So this chapter also summarizes a, a lot of the ideas in the book. All in all, Newport writes very concisely. He often brings pairs of information together, which are interesting and give you a, a variety of different perspectives on a number of ideas. He's not dogmatic, he's pro-technology. Uh, he just wants us to use it in a way that is beneficial to us and that connects back to our own deep values. So if you found this an interesting book um, and you'd like to, to see another book review, then let me know which uh, book I should read next.